Ivindo National Park in central Gabon, which has Africa's biggest forest elephant population, is deploying scores of eco guards to ward off poachers. Some 100 eco guards patrol the three sprawling parks, a job that is becoming increasingly dangerous. Our job has become dangerous because the more arrests we make on the ground, the more they are armed, very armed, and we don't have enough weapons to try to resolve the problem. About 11,000 elephants have been slaughtered for their tasks in less than 10 years in the national park. According to the head of conservation justice, approximately 150 and 200 kilograms of ivory are smuggled out of the reserve every week, accounting for about 15 to 20 slain elephants. You can easily have containers leaving Cameroon, for example, with ivory from Gabon going to Hong Kong. The same container then goes to Pakistan where they load drugs and weapons. And then the container goes to Somalia, for example. This is something I've seen with my own eyes. When faced with joint patrols of Gabonese and Congolese eco guards, smugglers resort to using pygmies as truckers with their special skills. Authorities agree that there is a need for a more severe punishment in order to tackle the problem. At present, the maximum penalty for poaching is six months in prison. If we continue killing them as much as now, in 10 years there won't be any left. So yes, we urgently need to put protection systems in place to fight poaching, but above all, trafficking. The poacher is ultimately only ever a tool of the trafficker. So if you hit him, the trafficker will carry on fine. With a human population of 1.8 million, Gabon is home to more than half the forest elephants in Africa. Gorillas, buffaloes, panthers and other large mammals that inhabit the area are also under threat from poachers. Jane Kill, CCTV.